multiples of a whole number are the product of that number and another whole number. Let's find our multiples of three by using our times tables. Let's start with three times one. Three items per group times one group gives me a total of three, so our first multiple of three is three. Three items per group times two groups gives me six, so our next multiple of three would be six. Continuing on, three items per group times three groups gives us nine for our next multiple. Three times four gives us 12. Three times five gives us 15. So, so far our multiples of three read three, six, nine, 12, and 15. We could continue on with our three times tables. Three times six would be 18, three times seven, 21, three times eight, 24, three times nine, 27, three times 10 is 30, and add those onto our multiples list. Unlike factors, multiples are going to go on forever, so how many we list is going to depend on what we're using them for. Instead of going through the times tables for a value to list its multiples, we could simply count by that number. So to list the multiples of 5, we could start by counting by 5s. Counting by 5s gives us 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So there would be our first five multiples of five. From there, we could continue on to 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50. Like we said before, multiples go on forever. So however many multiples we need depends on what we are doing. If we needed to, we could go beyond 50 and add to our multiples list. Check out the other videos in our playlist and don't forget to click on subscribe. Thanks for watching.